What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Toyota BZ4X. Let's get right into it with the chart. There will be only two trims to choose from on the 2024 BZ4X, the XLE and the Limited. XLE is just over 43,000 and the Limited is just over 47,000. So definitely an expensive vehicle here. Uh, we're kind of right on par with what we're seeing from an EV this size. Uh, standard engine is going to be with one electric motor, 201 horsepower, 196 pound-feet of torque. If you opt for the all-wheel drive setup, you'll get an additional electric motor, 214 horsepower, 248 pound-feet of torque. Definitely more torque there, but disappointing that the horsepower number is really not that much higher than that one motor setup. You know, it would really make you think that it would be. Drivetrain is going to be standard with front-wheel drive. As I said, you can get that optional all-wheel drive setup. Uh, as far as ranges go, the front wheel drive will be the best at 252. If you offer the all wheel drive, you will get less at 228. Both numbers, not that great. Definitely like to see those at least 350, 400. You know, that's really going to be what makes people buy a vehicle like this, in my opinion. Real quick, guys, here at Ben's Car Reviews, I strive to bring the most accurate and relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so you can continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. I have to admit, I didn't pay much attention to this when it first came out, but I think it's a great option for those who want an introductory EV setup. It has a bold design, but it's nothing crazy or in your face, and there's some excellent exterior design elements to check out. LED lights all around on the headlights, taillights, and daytime running lights, uh, and definitely with some really great designs. The headlights really matching the new trend of Toyota in their designs. You'll see this on the Crown, um, the Prius, the Camry even. They're all starting to look like this in the front. There's available slim profile quad LED headlights and daytime running lights that have a multi-beam pattern. All trims have lower front bumper vents, a fully covered underbody, ducktail rear spoiler, rear diffuser, black painted over fenders with air curtains, and there's an available split roof rear spoiler on that limited trim. Toyota also describes an advanced suspension system for reduced vibrations and overall better ride quality. There's a unique hammerhead hood with black painted accents on both trims. Much like the new crown I just reviewed, there's two-tone paint schemes available on this Model 2 for the Limited. It definitely looks great. You can always count on Toyota for those unique touches like that to separate themselves from the rest of the competition. 18-inch alloy wheels on the XLE. The Limited has 20-inch multi-spoke machine-finished alloy wheels with gray accents. Both look sharp. Standard rain-sensing wipers and heated side mirrors. X-Mode maximizes the all-wheel drive system by adjusting drive force, braking, and throttle input. There's regenerative braking with boost mode as well. Adding the all-wheel drive setup is a $2,000, $2,080 bill. For charging, Toyota describes it as as easy as plugging in your phone. The car includes a portable dual voltage charging cable with 120 volts and 220 volts charging capability. Charge how you please with a cord that simply plugs into the standard 120 volt in your house or a 220 volt outlet to charge. For faster charging times, the BZ4X is compatible with a DC fast charging system you can take advantage of scheduled charging as well in the Toyota app there's also one year of complimentary charging on the go with currently over 900 charging stations countrywide you get eco snow and normal drive modes for both trims the XLE weather package and the limited weather package add different combinations of extra heated elements uh, that'll be mostly an interior uh, a way that it affects you this thing measures in at 184.1 inches long 65 inches tall has 8.1 inches of ground clearance and weighs in at at the most nearly 4,400 pounds i think the best bang for your buck will be the xle the jump to the limited doesn't increase power much at all for the four thousand dollar increase in price also all the desirable interior features which we'll get into next are mostly still optional for the limited meaning you aren't getting really much beyond the xle and given the XLE is still providing a lot, I just don't see overall the need to jump to the Limited. The main thing I would wish for is a larger wheel setup, but that's not enough to justify you know, wanting that trim or opting for it just for that. A fun looking interior here to match the exterior, and I'm impressed at a first glance with the design and the layout. This is a five seater with plenty of room for all five people. There's a standard 12.3 inch multimedia infotainment touchscreen, standard on all trims. I love how it blends into the dials and options area below it. it. makes it almost seem like a giant screen. And all those features are seemingly digital, even though they're not. I just really like the way it flows. Wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto. The top-mounted driver's information display looks clear and sharp, and I love the height of it. 
panoramic glass roof on both trims, standard leather wrapped steering wheel, XLE seats are fabric and soft tax mixture, the limited is just soft tax. Both have eight way driver's assist and six way passenger assist seats. XLE has optional heated front seats, heated and ventilated seats are on the limited and available heated rear seats on the limited. There's a standard wireless charger on both, nine speaker JBL premium audio system available only on the limited. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 gives you numerous great driver's assist, safety and technology features to keep you safe and smooth on the road. Overall, I think Toyota has left these interior setups lacking and things to be desired. This is an expensive model, and I'm honestly surprised at how many features aren't standard on both these trims, uh, you know, let alone the Limited. How much is still remaining optional on the Limited doesn't make sense to me. I think these price tags absolutely warrant getting all the amenities, but maybe they'll change some things going forward. Interview guys, if you're interested in an electric vehicle, in the 2024 here, you're looking at this BZ4X. You gotta look at it. its nearly identical twin, the Subaru Solterra EV, and beyond that, you know, really any EV can be compared to this because in my opinion what you're looking for is a design you like with a range that you want you know and, and of course the price tag is going to be what it is I mean they, they're only going to be so low these days for getting anything of you know high quality or high range capability the ranges are just really lacking right now so if you're wanting a major range vehicle you're going to need to spend you know significantly more than this in most scenarios not all of them, but if this is enough range for you to just do your usual driving, maybe you still have a gas car you would take on a road trip, and you just kind of want an EV because you think they're awesome, they look cool, uh, environmentally safe, no emissions, uh, this is a zero emission vehicle, then you know, those are all good reasons to look to get one, and this is a great option. Toyota has great reliability. You know, People are saying EVs are going to go away because they're all failing, uh, but there's really you know only so many scenarios of that being the case. Um, there's going to be you know bugs to work out with any new kind of venture that goes in the car world but you know this is something you want i would definitely get it with confidence and it should be just fine hope this video lay things out and clear away for you guys thank you for watching this pens car review please subscribe if not already if you have an idea for a future review drop me in the comments and i'll see what i can do if you'd like to become a member of the channel i have that option now check that out and join if you'd like i'll catch you on the next pens car review